See, water business, uh, the people in the industry, the industrialists, the business people say it is a next generation. It is a, it is a kind of a next IT sector, next uh, revolution going to set in the water. Though I've been drinking bottled water for last uh, 30, 40, 50 years, but the revolution is yet to come because the market is so big, uh, people have still not capitalized the opportunity of what is available in the market because every everybody, every human being on this earth require a pure and safe water. So the, as the pollution is increasing, day by day all over the globe. So the requirement for packed water is booming up, but uh, very few brands have established uh, well. It's a market of 90% uh, unorganized sector. You will find a lot of uh, local players. They don't have a quality. So in that space, we're creating a brand. We already have established brands for 40, 50, 100 years. If you just want to understand, we have a legacy brand here, Budweiser, which is 165 years old brand in the globe. The brand Budweiser is there in 150 countries. That big brand we have with us. So we want to make use of these brand names to enter the market and catch the opportunity of uh, packaged drinking water. So this is what we are. We have uh, six brands, Royal Challenge, Hayward's 5000. We also have Hayward's 2000 also as a print brand, Budweiser Magnum, Knockout and Back Size. Out of the six brands, two brands are international brands in this, Back Size and Budweiser. Budweiser is a, uh, a brand uh, hailed from Belgium, spread across the globe, 150 countries. Bexis is a German brand. It's there mostly in the European countries. It is called as world's number one and the best, uh, you know, uh, tastiest beer is Bexis. And other brands, Royal Challenge, Hayward's, Knockout, all these brands are Indian-grown MNC brands. Royal Challenge is there in 40 countries plus. Hayward's also there in more than uh, 20 countries plus. Knockout is an Indian brand. All these brands belong to, uh, the four brands belong to Indian market. The next slide is about the global presence where we are. Uh, we as a company actually, ABN Bay is a company which uh, owns all these brands of water. So globally, we have a manufacturing facility in 50 countries and we sell a brand in almost 100 countries. That means we are having a presence in terms of manufacturing plus distribution in 150 countries in the globe. Almost we have covered 80% of the globe or 75% of the globe in terms of our physical distribution reach to the uh, market. So we are actually known as beer makers of the world. Let's say uh, people you know, think about beverage, uh, let's say a soft drink or Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is basically called as a soft drink company of the world. Pepsi is called as food and beverage company of the world. Similarly, we are called as beer maker of the world because we have over 400 brands globally. That big portfolio of brands, nobody else has got in the beverage and food category. So we, our company is uh, number one in terms of the number of brands or in terms of turnover. We have the highest market share. Water brands, as I showed you, we have uh, six brands of water. These are presence. So we already have an established network of 55 franchises all over the country. And we are in the water business not only uh, the last few years. In fact, we started water business with Royal Challenge, Hayward's, Northport, and Bexis. All the water brands were lo launched almost 20 years back. So only Bexis and the Budweiser was launched uh, six years back. Otherwise, as a water portfolio, as a water category, we have been serving the Indian market, uh, fulfilling the consumer needs in the package water name almost for the last 20 years now. That is why we have a network of franchisee, uh, 55 franchisees across the country, north to south, east to west, every state we have a presence, we have a franchisee. These are uh, basic, you know, uh, the list of SKUs or the product sizes, whatever we have in our uh, products, in our brands. In every brand, whatever the names I mentioned, Royal Challenge, Back Size, Budweiser, Hayward's, Knockwood, in every brand, if we have the entire range, we have almost 12 SKUs or 12 different sizes in every brand. So name a, uh, let's say, uh, uh, talk about the category leaders or bistlery could be whatever. So whatever the range they have in their brand, we have a same range in our brands also, right? A range means like uh, some sizes of 250 ml, half liter, one liter, two liter, five liter, 10 liter, 20 liter. Soda also, there are three, four different uh, sizes. So we have the entire range available in every of our brand. Why choose? This is very, very important question for all of you. This is your crux of the entire business, uh, why you should be investing money into the water. This is a very, very important slide. Uh, fastest growing CAGR of last two decades. That means the industry is growing so fast that the CAGR, that means compounding average growth ratio of this industry for the last 20 years, it's 40%. So no other industry in the market could be building industry, could be food products industry or garment industry or IT industry. None of the industry, industries in the country are growing at 40% space. That is a, a fantastic growth the industry is having already. Uh, the second important point is was industry. That means there are 7,000 registered BIS brands in India. That means there are brands which has got a license from BIS. Basically, BIS refers to Bureau of Indian Standards. 
which allocate the licensing number nothing but isa marking so they have given license for 7000 people already in india they have given more than 7000 the currently who are who have renewed the, brand, the license number and doing the business 7000 existing brands this are only just 7000 is only number which is uh, registered with bis there are unauthorized brands unauthorized manufacturing setup in india could be at least two times more if there are 7000 we talking about isa and mark the brands there could be another 15000 more brands who doesn't have a, 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 a registration they are operating unauthorized way that means industry is much much larger than whatever we are seeing it here uh, market size of this industry is almost it is 30 by 1000 crores as per 2035 the current you know we just talk about currently we are 20000 crore by next financial year next to uh, two uh, years financial year in 2035 it sorry not 35 basically is to 2025 the industry is going to be 30 by 1000 crores that big is a, a market size usp of water brands is nothing but the brand name itself which is something you know people uh, tickle what exactly is we talking about here see if you remove the bottle label and the bottle there is nothing in it it's just a purified water so what makes a difference here is the brand name itself because water doesn't have a different color different taste or different uh, you know kind of suppose you talk about any beverages it is suppose thumbs up or coca cola or uh, sprite or whatever every uh, brand has got a, its own flavor and taste and Uh, something you know distinction, but here water doesn't doesn't have that. It's basically a natural color, natural flavor, uh, transparent. That is why the unique thing in the water is the brand name itself. So those brands we have with us, that's why you can have a tie up with us to launch a uh, water brand business. Only five to six national brands. You all of as a consumer, as a viewer, you know it. As an entrepreneur, you know about it. The brand names of five to six, which we all of us know: Bissari, Aquafina, Kinle, Tata, or Bailey, whatever. apart from that the whatever that we talking about 7000 registered brands only 5 to 6 names are known to the consumer in general to majority of the people the remaining 6000 uh, 995 brands are not known so that is where we have a huge space we as a brand, we already have a category we have a name in the beverages so we have that space we can fill fill that gap of between branded and the unbranded segment whatever the gap is there that's where we fit in uh, we have that uh, connect as a local Uh, we can uh, have a tie with the local manufacturers and uh, reach out to the people who are brand conscious. So we can mm-hmm. cut a slice between the local branded water as well as branded segment both because we can compete in both the sides. Highly profitable. The profitability could be here is eighty percent to one twenty percent. Why I'm mentioning eighty percent here because in first financial year you'll be uh, uh, investing your money and time in developing the market. So you might not get the profitability the initial six months of time because. It's a volume game. You have to have something like thirty, forty thousand cases to reach the profitability. That will take five to six months time to reach your profit, uh, the break-even point. So maybe initially, first financial year, your profit will be not eighty uh, percent; will be lesser than that. Over a period of one and a half to two years' time, you will mark a profitability of hundred percent. The next third year will be touching one twenty percent profitability. So after two to three years' time, once you establish yourself, once you capture the market, then the profitability, whatever we're saying, eighty percent, one twenty percent. In hundred percent, it can be uh, achieved easily. What is the role of a, a franchisee? There are two aspects of the entire business here. One is manufacturing. Let's say two departments in in to make it very short. Manufacturing and selling. Selling is a very very important activity for franchisee because in manufacturing he is investing only for the one time. Maybe he takes the three to four months time to put up a new plant. Suppose you you have investment of uh, X or Y Z amount required for putting up a manufacturing unit. Then you have to invest money. And uh, over a period of five to six months' time, you have a plant ready. So once the plant is ready, there is no time need to be spent again for uh, you know uh, putting up the plant and any kind of infrastructure development work. So eighty percent time of a franchisee will definitely go into selling, where you will be building up a distribution network, dealer network, then also building up a network of all these corporates and offices wherever the water is going to be consumed. So let let me say how, what exactly the selling activity has to be done by franchisee here. So fr- uh, selling activity uh, you know it comes in. Three four formats. You will appoint distributors. You will appoint wholesalers. You go to supermarkets. You go to corporates. As a company, you will be operating the entire business as an independent owner of this uh, entire business. We will not be involved anywhere in terms of your distribution, marketing, or selling. We give the brand to you. So you operate this business as a, a complete hundred percent ownership. All the money comes to your hand. You will invest the money in the raw material. So the whole focus will be going on developing a network of distributors. See, because this in, uh, industry works like a FMCG industry where you have to have a distributor for every three to four hundred shops. That is why the whole focus for uh, franchises to open distributor. 
under distributors will be retailers hotel restaurants any food joints events caterers again wholesalers you either you can service directly or you can service to distributors also because generally wholesaler tend to ask for a more discount and they give you 100% cash so either you can do directly or option of giving through distributors as well supermarket because many supermarkets are uh, in large format stores they demand a good kind of a discount marketing support and all that that is why i mentioned here to be serviced by uh, directly franchisee then offices name a office let's say in bangalore or in delhi or in chennai or in any location in mumbai every office there are at least in every city of all this there could be at least something like 2 lakh offices in bangalore there could be at least 2 lakh offices where there are at least 22 or 30 lakh employees or people are employed in those offices they have a bottle water requirement today none of the offices are giving uh, bottle water you know say uh, the loose water from the tap water or the corporation water every office with a office of 10 people or 2000 uh, people in the office they all buy bottle water they are buying some local players uh, local brand because they are unable to get the branded water if they go for bigger brands the price are very high uh, if you go they go for local brands the quality is very bad so we are in between we can be affordable and we are a brand also so office segment has got a huge potentiality so each office let's say every city i'm talking about example of four to five cities could be bombay could be delhi could be chennai could be uh, mumbai uh, could be bangalore here the consumption is at least 1 crore jar sells every month 1 crore that means 1 cr which is 10 million jar water is sold every month from only from office segment because that big is a market size so like that we have so many scales i'm just talking about only one product one size to deal it up like that we have 250 ml which goes to all the events we have half liter which goes to all the stores and medical stores to hospitals to school college canteens to kirana shop everywhere so for every sku we have a different consumer segment i'm just giving one example of corporates here only corporates requirement is 1 crore jar a month in every city which is huge as a franchise even you do 1% of the business then you are 100% profitable what is the requirement of infrastructure in terms of you know to put up a plant see um, it is not mandatory for all the franchises to put up a new plant immediately it is like this example i'll give you suppose you ship from your hometown to a business city or a different place let's say people are staying in uh, mumbai they want to travel to delhi they want to ship for a business they can go and look for a, a rented house they can stay in a hotel like that we are, we have tried to help the franchises here or the help the in investors here will facilitate you in terms of getting the ready infrastructure of uh, existing manufacturers they will manufacture for you you can start the business maybe gradually once you settle down once you understand the business you can go for a new plant own investment because investment in the plant cost you huge money something like 3 to 4 crore rupees investment on the plant if you want to start the business without any investment in the plant you can start with very small percentage of you know 20% of that money you can start the business so we have both the option open you don't get afraid with whatever we are talking about infrastructure here people already having a water plant for them it is applicable people who doesn't have a water plant also so in case they want to invest then it is going to be applicable for them so documentation required very simple basic documentation for starting any business in india there are few set up documents and approvals required so what is special and what is important only here in the water business is bia certification which is nothing but isa marking the second point is fsss certification which is nothing but uh, to uh, deal with any of the food products in manufacturing to distribution to delivery whatever fsss is compulsory which takes hardly a week time to get the certification by paying hardly uh, 10000 rupees you might get the license from fsss otherwise all the documents are very simple which is very common for any uh, sme business in the food industry now the, the break up of what exactly we talking about the uh, investment part here let's say for a medium scale other than top 8 metros the investment requirement could be 45 lakh rupees if somebody wants to operate the business in a bigger metros or the top 8 mini metros in the metros which could be 60 lakh rupees you can just see the last line here 45 lakh and 60 lakh the break up of this is one way pack basically we talking about the plant production capacity something like 1 lakh cases per month you have to have 45 lakh rupees investment if the plant capacity is of 2 lakh cases production per month gradually you will not be reaching this you know 2 lakh in a month or two months it might take 6 months to 1 year to get the number of 2 lakh cases to run a business of 2 lakh cases monthly sales you have to have uh, say you know uh, investment of 60 lakh rupees without a plant uh, without the investment on the plant is only a capital and the raw materials again the break up of this money goes like this uh, investment of 45 lakh will be broken uh, broken down into something like brand fees 12 lakh rupees which is one time brand fees for 3 years time molds are required for manufacturing the bottle of our own design and our own uh, sizes and shapes uh, 5 lakh rupees for developing the mold it will be your property for life long 
labels cylinders again your property for life long two lakh rupees will go for developing a cylinder for our own uh, label design raw material which is consumable basically every month you buy raw material for producing the bottles into different sizes finished goods basically to keep the stock because it is a water industry it's like a service industry type you know people want to invest money they have to have a ready stock available on the floor so we have to something like 6 lakh rupees of worth of finished goods on the floor then operational expenses something like 5 lakh rupees to take care of day to day expenses of for one two months time 5 lakh rupees for a medium scale other than eight metros large scale for whatever the rest of the let's say class tier two cities tier three cities tier four cities with population of 10 15 lakh uh, only for top eight cities in the country 60 lakh rupees is required we can, we can also have a format of you know for smaller cities like uh, mysore or hubli or you know uh, ranchi or uh, uh, something like you know nagpur we can even get a investment for 30 lakh rupees they can become a franchisee with a low investment very very important slide for all the investors here why should be uh, uh, into the water business so what is there in it for you is basically about the volume how much sales you going to do uh, year wise the medium scale volume would be something like 50000 cases in a month second year 75000 cases third year you will be achieving a sales of at least 1 lakh case per month it is number of carton boxes because normally water comes in a carton box of 12 pieces or 24 pieces that's how i mentioned the uh, number of cases could be 1 lakh cases average per third year if it is large format for top 8 metros it will be starting from 70000 cases for the first financial year second year 1 lakh 25000 cases third year 2 lakh cases monthly turnover average after crossing 2 year 3 years of time will be having a average sale of 2 lakh cases so when you sell this much number of cases the profitability of have taken here this profitability basically it is a net margin net profitability after removing your expenses a royalty whatever you paying to company uh, our sales salary and marketing expenses after that what you retain in hand is 12 rupees approximately per case to so 12 rupees into 50000 cases 6 lakh profitability per month for financial year similarly for second year 75000 cases into uh, 12 rupees 9 lakh profitability again third year 1 lakh cases into 12 uh, rupees 12 lakh <coughs> average you touch a volume of 1 lakh cases a month then you get 12 lakh profitability per month when you reach a volume of 3 lakh cases a month then the profitability per case would be 15 rupees which comes to 30 lakh rupees which is it which is very phenomenal let's say after 3 years your profit is almost uh, two times you know let's say half of your uh, investment let's say you invested 60 lakh rupees in the total business but you got profit you make after 3 years is 30 lakhs every month which is no industry can offer this kind of profitability because that is how the industry is it is like a huge demand for water and very few players in the branded segment we have opportunity for establishing ourselves we already have a network we need to add more number because the consumption is so huge the 50 franchise currently what we have is not at all sufficient we we might have a potentiality of appointing 500 more franchises to capture entire country that big is a market benefits of uh, becoming a franchise basically from your side there are two things brand fees and royalty what you paying to company and the benefit what you get is easy easy for selling because of the brand name it is easy for selling easy for appointing distributor because of the brand name you get a higher pricing from the retailers and distributors then the plant can be so once you get into manufacturing then you are allowed to manufacture other brand in case you want to have some kind of a, uh, efficiency or you know uh, reduce your operation cost you are allowed to uh, sell other brand, manufacture the brand also overall plant under will be under the company's guidance direction the entire plant efficiency in the uh, and the what you call the uh, cost of operation could be reduced and managed because the company is involved in helping you people who come to water business with zero knowledge also after 6 months they can become master to uh, masters in 6 months because we guide you from zero to what the industry today whatever experience we have gained as a company as a team for over whatever uh, the period of uh, time so that we inject our uh, franchise to develop him to become a, a profitable and uh, competitive ent- entrepreneur coming to the brand piece part brand piece is not same for all the brands it is differ from one brand to other we don't charge uh, same brand piece so it is uh, every brand has got its own uh, uh, positioning in the market so we will be having brand piece according to that what we done is basically we have divided into water into four categories uh, water into one way packs and 20 liters and soda we have glass bottle soda we have all those categories we have so anybody wants to take up a very low investment they can become a franchisee for uh, say the jar alone we can just see here the demography 20 liters you can see here by investing 3 lakh rupees you can become a franchisee for one brand in for one city if you want to go for a investment of you know uh, uh, one way pack small bottle 250 ml to 2 liter 
they can invest seven lakh rupees brand fees for the company. If you want, want to become only a franchisee for this, uh, say only for let's say glass bottle soda, they can become a franchisee investing just three lakh rupees brand fees for the company. There'll be working capital, which will not be uh, very big. Uh, if you suppose you're investing two lakh, then maybe five times more you have to invest for working capital to buy raw material, to buy the molds and all those. Otherwise, this is initial money required, and whatever money required for investment in the cap, uh, say the working capital is not going to be one time. They have to be doing it in the next two to three months of time. Not like 35 lakh rupees they have to keep in basket to start the business. No, not required. Over a period of two to three months of time, you will be investing that money in, into the business to buy the material, to convert the product and keep the stocks on the flow. It's a gradual process. Yeah. Then the support from the company, what we do. See, all these brands are definitely the co-brands of all this, uh, uh, the business of the, you know, all the brands is basically uh, beer. So we are a beer brand. It's the extension from beer to water beverages which is not just new, it has been there for 20 years, it has been there for 8 years, we have been in the water segment. So we keep running the advertisement for promoting the brand. Let's say example of uh, Hayward's or a Royal Challenge, you will find a lot of advertisements in the TV, in the internet, holdings. We give a hold, just dealer board of let's say example of Budweiser or Beck size, each of our dealer board will cost 2 lakh rupees. That kind of dealer board should provide to the bar and restaurants. So that advantage of whatever advertisement the company is doing, I'll be uh, all goes to the franchisee of the particular territory. Currently, the advertisement is getting uh, wasted. Why I'm saying wasted? Because we advertise uh, as a rule, the government Supreme Court law. So we are supposed to show only water bottle, or we supposed to show soda in the uh, in the advertisement campaigns. So we have been showing uh, soda as a water bottle there. If the brand is not available in water and soda, that advertisement is going uh, no waste. So once we get a franchisee. So all the advertisement companies doing for building the brand that goes to the franchisee, which costs a huge money, hundreds of crores rupees goes for advertisement. So all the benefit of advertisement goes to the water franchisee, whoever is taking the opportunity here. So apart from those, uh, what you call national advertisements, we also have local advertisements to support a franchisee for launching time. We give them a, a, a banner, poster, t-shirts and danglers, whatever required for putting up the retail shops, that support we provide.